Articulated trolley buses may be a common sight on Vancouver's main roads, but in the scope of New Flyer's restyled lineup, these vehicles have only been built for one city. Despite thousands of units being built for New Flyer's signature products of the late 2000s and early 2010s, only 74 of these are of the articulated trolley bus variant. The novelty E60 LFR derives itself from its 40-foot brethren and helps affirm Vancouver as the launch customers for the entirety of New Flyer's restyled lineup. First, we will run a brief backgrounder on how the transit agency ended up with these units. Later on, there will be a brief visit to the four routes operated by this unique fleet of trolleybuses. The decision for TransLink to order the first 40 articulated trolleybuses goes back to the early 2000s, specifically 2003, as by the beginning of that year, there were 244 trolleybuses in the fleet, dating back as far as 1982. Do note that one bus was burned and ridden off in 1987. This brings us to 2004, when TransLink signed a contract with New Flyer and Kiep of Germany for 188 standard trolleybuses and 40 articulated ones. Already, this would be a net expansion of 4 40-foot buses and an overall net reduction of 16 units. Fast forward to 2007, specifically October that year, when the first training runs of the new E60 LFR models were reported. By early 2008, there was a soft rollout onto Route 3 Main. April 2008 then saw the start of articulated trolley service on Route 20. By the end of 2009, TransLink quote-unquote could no longer increase the number of buses running on the 8. Hence, an expansion of 34 buses were ordered that year to fulfill this need. Four years later in 2013, operations were expanded to Route 10, which came at the cost of slight frequency reductions. And that remains the style of operations to this day, with the busiest being Route 20, which placed 8 in annual boardings in 2022. All of Vancouver's articulated trolleybus routes share a common intersection at Hastings and Richards and head along their respective corridors to Marine Drive, with the exception of Route 20, which terminates one block uphill from the major thoroughfare. Articulated trolleybuses have been a staple sighting at Marine Drive Station since 2015, when the adjoining Marine Gateway development was opened for business.
The inside of these buses are no different than a standard articulated bus on Route 99. Along with being accessible with space for mobility aids, these buses can seat 45 and can carry a total of around 120 passengers. Bus number 8 serves Fraser Street. We start at the southern terminus at Marine at Poplar before making our way up the hill to around 45th Avenue. Though not as vibrant as some of the other filming locations in this video, the street is lined with numerous international delicacies and a placemaking ability better defined by the hospitality in these stores and restaurants. As the evening rush wraps up, our E60 LFR models continue to circulate passengers between downtown, Main Street Station, and our filming location.
Main Street is vibrantly scattered with pubs, restaurants, bakeries, and many specialty stores. For many, this is enough to spend an entire day. Route 3 takes passengers from downtown and Main Street Station to one of the more underrated entertainment districts in the city on this warm July evening.
The 10 is among the most historically significant bus routes in the city of Vancouver. While it is still a staple in the current network, it is perhaps best known for its days as the Hastings to UBC route, known today as Route 14. In fact, the former 10 Hastings Express and the better known 34 Hastings Express was at one point the only express trolleybus route in Canada and paved the way for express service along Hastings Street. Since 2003, the route has been the signature service along Granville Street, a stark contrast compared to its days zipping up and down the hills next to the PE. This summer evening sees action near the South Granville station site for the upcoming Broadway subway expansion of the Millennium Line. Last but not least, the 20 is in charge of service along Victoria Drive. This route is the busiest among the four articulated trolley routes with connections to Commercial Broadway Station and downtown Vancouver along Hastings Street. Harrison at Victoria, the route's southern terminus, is located immediately uphill from the intersection at Southeast Marine Drive. To close out this video, we will head up to Commercial Drive to a part of the street called Little Italy, an area catered to the city's Italian enclave and related businesses.
next stop, 41st Avenue. And this concludes our film of articulated trolleybuses in Vancouver. For more transit-related content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. For any additional links and sources, please check the description. And any questions can be directed to the comments below.